guys welcome back with another video this is havoc OS 4.11 based on android 11 and in future we will get the android 12 of course and this is the last build still now so thanks to the respected developers and aryan karan uh, is building this havoc OS so thanks to him and first of all you guys can see the user interface and the home screen it's like this and ROM is very smooth but in the first time I just make sure to you guys this is not a gaming ROM actually and if you guys want to change kernel then change kernel and then try for gaming uh, but this is not a gaming ROM but if you want to use it on your daily life not as a gaming ROM then this is gonna be a perfect one you guys can easily use on your daily life no problem without any issue out of the box safety net is passed and necessary applications and the customizations are available in that room. without any problem you guys can easily use uh, everything is working fine in that room and you guys can see notification toggles so many notification toggles are there you guys can easily use and customize as you want and here you guys can see I'm using here the call recording options but uh, by default we don't have any recorder options so you guys will get that video uh, after this one or before this one I don't know but you guys will get that video here is the recording applications and which must need the root access so first of all let me show you the safety net status is passed or not so you guys can see uh, safety net is passed by default and this is pro level magix manager and i am using this magix manager already provided the video if you guys haven't watched that video then have a look in the description and after that you guys will get now i will talk about the settings and first of all you guys can see network and internet options and here we have the options of changing preferred network type so many types are there if you are uh, in a low network area then you guys can set uh, it and after that we have Wi-Fi calling and carrier video calling as well and 4G calling whatever you need everything is available in that room so no issues with that and after that we have the huge configuration center and every necessary customizations are available in that configuration center so first of all check out the status bar we have cloak logo and you guys can see i already enabled the logo here and the cloak options you guys can auto hide the cloak and clock position left right or uh, you guys can see here am pm normal and date is hidden just click normal or small you guys will be able to see here and if you want to enable second options then second will run here i don't need that and that position you guys can change so many things are there and here is the logo position you guys can change and logo style as well and if you want apple logo then you guys will be able to see here the apple logo so many logos are there and images also can be set and after that brightness control and double tap options everything is working and you guys can see network speed so speed meter is there and you guys can see here speed meter on the top and carry level icon style portrait circle and text hidden whatever you want you can enable and after that we have the quick settings toggle and you guys can see here you guys can customize your columns and rows in a notification panel whatever you want and you guys can do and after that we have lock screen and double tap to sleep working status bar quick settings charging info everything just working fine without any issue and ambient display this is really cool and it's working pretty much fine without any issue you guys can enable these options too double tap to your phone to check time and notifications when you enable the always on display and always on display is really working fine i don't need to use that because it uh, consumes lots of battery so I don't suggest you guys to use that after that we have on um, the buttons and navigations system navigations and you guys can customize your navigation bar like me you guys can see I already customize it 
just like a mu i i make it bigger gesture bar length you guys can change the bar length like this if you want to make it smaller you guys can do that and if you want to make it long you guys can do that no problem and after that we have swap keys if you uh, want to use the button then you guys can swap the keys no problem and wake device if you want to enable by pressing volume buttons then just enable that wake device options i don't need that and if you want to answer your calls uh, by pressing the volume button then just enable this feature i don't need that and after that we have gestures uh, just like we had the buttons and gesture same things you guys will get here as well and notifications and you guys can also capture the screenshots quick torch you guys can enable and notifications we have edge lighting option when notification will come your edge will be uh, lighting very clearly and it, this will be visible that's cool and you guys can enable the key lab button as well no problem on that and battery saving options you guys already know about that and screen here is the thing screen you guys can make it uh, you guys can do the customizations but i don't recommend to do that and here is the media music visualizer you guys can enable this one to your lock screen and it will be a very nice while you just want to play and here is the gaming mode as well and you guys can enable these things and show overlay and what you need and the opacity of the icons you guys can change no problem and turn off ringer whatever you need you guys can do and screenshot type full and partial what kind of screenshot you want you guys can uh, actually choose from in there and here is the about section and all the um, developers name are mentioned here so if you want to then you guys can check and after that we have display settings and remember one thing if you are talking about uh, battery backup then I will talk it later and if I forgot then let me know in the comment section below and here is the styles and wallpapers you guys already know about that uh, by default we have some wallpapers here if you want to use then you can use no problem and we have so many clocks here not only so many a few actually you guys can see but not bad I, I guess so many clocks are there you guys can change clocks like this so I can apply from here so already applied and here is the refresh rate options but it doesn't uh, seems to work for <laughs> 60 hertz panel so this is nothing for us and here are all the necessary things like live display is working really mode really mode is also working and color calibration if you have idea then you guys can uh, customize it as you want and then we have the battery section and let me clear a few things i didn't get any battery draining issue because um, i just keep my device idle at night and i check it in the morning uh, battery was the same 54 percent to 54 percent so zero percent battery drain so you guys will not face any problem with battery so battery backup is really good and finally we have the security and which is where is face unlock app locker everything is available no problem and everything is just working i check no problem and you guys can do lock your applications if you want to hide or something and here is the thing you guys can see digital well-being as well and here's the system we have by default gboard and you guys will get vanilla and gfs build for this havoc os and i'm using here the gfs build so i recommend you guys to use gfs build so that you guys can easily use the rom and here is the android version you guys can see and i changed the kernel so by default you guys will get uh have a quest kernel and i think that would be better than this one so i don't recommend to change the kernel and after that let me show you some screenshots and i think which is not important actually and you guys already know about the safety net is passed by default and here is the cpu throttling which is 76 percent not so much good and not bad as well and let me show you now the geekbench score here is the geekbench score 
you guys can see let me show you that so here is the single core and multi core and which is uh, not so good actually not impressive actually and i checked it well uh, when my phone charge was uh, about 76 percent maybe uh, if i uh, try to check it in 100 percent charge then it will uh, do better results so that's not a problem actually uh, according to your battery backup uh, battery charge it will change so that's not uh, an imp important thing I guess and this is not a gaming room I already told you guys and Call of Duty after uh, season 10 update Call of Duty uh, got very large in size and in graphics and everything and after that I uh, actually didn't get any options of high frame rate only low and medium is available and low and medium is not a good thing and this is not a playable that means Call of Duty was not playable for now in Redmi 7 so you guys can use module and I th I don't think it will work mm, because officially it's now downgraded so I don't think it will work so you guys can try PUBG I don't know about that because uh, I don't play PUBG so I can't say about that so sorry for that and gcam of course working by default you guys will get the gcam go and you guys can easily use no problem and you guys can install any kind of gcam like arnova gcam i already provided so many videos on gcam you guys can try this uh try those things out and hope you guys understand the video and if you guys really like the video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further update so thank you for watching